what's up Mopar fam we are about to do some honestly some overdue maintenance on frostbite we need to change the supercharger oil and the torque storm supercharger also need to do a regular oil change on the truck itself um, so just a lot of service needs to be done and we're gonna be checking the plugs as well but this video is gonna be about how to change the oil in your torque storm supercharger so let's get into it but before we get started let's uh, go check out the old girl running real quick Alright guys, so we are going to get started on the supercharger oil change on the Torque Storm. Very simple process. Uh, first things we got to do, obviously we were running the truck because I was trying to get it warmed up pretty good so the oil will come out very nicely. I want to try to get it all out. Uh, so we got it nice and warm. So the first step is going to be we got to pop off the belt for the supercharger and uh pretty straightforward we just got to loosen the uh just push the pulley down to take the tension off the belt right here on the idler and then we're gonna undo uh let's go here under my fender here you can probably see a little better there we go we're just gonna undo the elbow the 90 degree elbow right here off the supercharger we're gonna loosen that clamp and then Next thing will be to remove these Allen head screws right here on the main bracket. And that's what bolts the supercharger to the main bracket. And then the supercharger will come loose and we'll take the air filter off as well. And then the drain screw is on the supercharger there. So once we get it off, we can take the uh, drain bolt out and tip the supercharger oil tip the supercharger over and let the oil drain out of it and then we will refill it these superchargers per torque storm they say they hold six ounces of oil that's it nothing more nothing less but mine's pretty much due to be done uh, i think they say to do it every every year or every ten thousand miles i believe and 
I don't think I'm nowhere near the mileage yet, but I'm definitely past a year. And we've been running the truck pretty hard on the racetrack, obviously, so definitely time to do it. I've been meaning to do it, just haven't had the time. And today I'm gonna make time, we're gonna get it done. So, other than that, that's pretty much it. We're gonna grab some tools and start taking some stuff apart here. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so we have a 15 millimeter wrench down here and I'm gonna put it down here on the pulley or the tensioner pulley. And I'm gonna push the belt, uh, I'm gonna pull the tensioner down to release the tension on the belt. And I'm gonna have my sidekick over here take the pulley or take the belt off of the supercharger pulley here. Mr. Helper guy, come on. Mr. Focus, focus, focus on this. You got it? Down there. All right, let's go. All right, let's try to do this with a camera in one hand and wrench in another hand and a hot radiator hose. Here we go. All right. There you go. You almost got it now. Now try grabbing right there where it's about to fall off and pull towards you and down. Alright, try to get behind it with your fingernails again, or your, your fingers. Right there where it's about to fall off and pull it towards the front. There it goes. Oh, you can do it. It's so tight. Oh <laughs> Bam! Like money. Oh yeah, there's no slippage on that belt. She's a tight one. Alright, now we're going to loosen the elbow on the bottom of the supercharger for the that goes down to the intercooler and then we're going to take the filter off and then start undoing these allen head screws right here and then this dude will be coming out i got mr sidekick on the clamp for that elbow down there uh may vary from people's setups to different setups but mine's a little 10 millimeter socket or wrench to loosen that clamp all right now we're going to loosen the clamp on the filter that goes on to the supercharger back here there you go that's enough i just grabbed the filter and it should pull off bam money money and then on to the next step all right, as you can see, try to zoom in here by the tire. We have the uh, lower elbow off of the supercharger going to the intercooler. So the charge pipe right there is basically disconnected. And the only thing we got left to do to get the supercharger out now is going to be removing these Allen head screws. So we're going to get a tool real quick and get those loose and then the supercharger will be coming out all right what we're going to use for these allen head screws good old and i'm a fan of uh good old cornhole cornwheel tools yeah come on uh, this is one of my favorite 3 8 ratchets swivel head dilly and we have a eight millimeter allen head socket dilly dilly dally whatever you want to call it on the ratchet here to get the uh, bolts out with and a uh, pretty fancy little kit comes with pretty much everything in there but that's what we're going to use to uh get these bolts out with so here you go there guy there's a handful of these little dudes in there so we'll just get the tool on there Simply loosen them up 
just like so so we'll be back in just a minute here while we get all these screws out real quick all right guys so as you can see we have the seven bolts out right here the seven allen head bolts there's one two three four five six seven that you got to remove and then supercharger comes completely out of the vehicle just like that we got a torque storm baby Bad girl right there. All right, let's go over here and do some surgery. Don't mind this hunk of shit right here. All right. Now, if you can see right here, where this says proudly made in the USA because it's a bad mama jamma, right here is the oil plug, which is another Allen head. So we're gonna remove this plug drain the oil into a pan and then we'll flip it back over like so put in exactly six ounces of oil put the plug back in and put this bad mammer jammer back in the truck all right guys so we have a uh this is a what is it this is a quarter inch quarter inch allen head to take out this plug that's down here on the back side of the supercharger where the wheel is, where the whirly wheel is, um, right under the American flag made in the USA dilly. So this is the plug to drain it and fill it right here. So we're gonna try to loosen this. I've never done it, so I don't know how tight this guy's gonna be, but let's give it a whirl. Oh, it's not too tight. Not bad at all. So I'm gonna stand it back up here. Now the plug don't look too bad. Let's see what kind of shape this oil looks like. This will be the first time and it's nice and hot right now. So here we go. Coming on out. Looks pretty good. Purple stuff. Looks like the old royal purple. Looks really clean. I don't see any, uh, you know, like silvery metal kind of oil stuff. It looks really clean. I don't even see any metal debris in there at all. Uh, so, uh, Torque Storm has told me, you know, obviously they run their units before they ship them out. Um, so they pretty much do the break-in period for you, more or less. Um, so as long as you change the oil, you know, with, you know, every year, every 10,000 miles or whatever, um, you should be good to go. These things are pretty pretty good very well made supercharger units and they got the best warranty as far as all the superchargers go so can't beat them there we go I'm gonna ro rotate the pulley a little bit maybe I'm holding it there see if I can get any and there goes a little bit more. All right. We got her drained. And I'm going to put the plug back in for just a second until we get our oil ready to go to be put back in here. I don't want any, uh, we're kind of underneath some trees here, so I don't want anything to fall in it while I got my back turned. All right, guys, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to use a little measuring cup here to measure out our six ounces of oil, uh, which is going to be uh, about right here. And I'm not telling you to, you know, go in the kitchen and steal your wife's measuring devices. But uh, if you do, you may want to not let them find out. Just saying. It's all you, baby. But anyway, we're going to fill this up with our oil to six ounces. And then uh, go from there. 
All right, as you can see, we have our six ounces of oil ready to go. So we're gonna take this over here and I have a little funnel that we're gonna put in a supercharger and pour this stuff in. All right, so we got this little uh, tiny perfect funnel right here. Fits in the hole perfectly. And we have our six ounces of oil measured out. So we're gonna pour it right in. And it's gonna go in, it's gonna go down pretty slow because obviously there's really nowhere to vent the uh, oil out of more or less. So it's gonna take its time to kind of go down there. But like I said, Torque Storm said six ounces of oil. This is the oil I get from them. They, they already send it out usually. Uh, they got pre-measured bottles or whatever if you want. Um, but six ounces of oil you don't want to put too much because obviously if you put way too much in it then it's going to try to probably blow the oil out of all the seals and that's not going to be good obviously you don't want to put too little because that's not good so you know try to get it right at six ounces and you should be good to go Looks like that's all down. Throw that in there. Get the drain plug. Tighten this back up. And I'm going to wipe off this little bit of oil right here. And honestly, if you guys drive your car a lot and then you start to get the supercharger oil, uh, you start to get the supercharger dirty, now's a perfect time to polish that dude up. So I might go grab some of my mother's polish real quick and uh, try to clean this thing up a little bit because it's been on here for over a year. And I haven't cleaned it one time besides what I can wipe down when it's under the hood. Um, so we might polish this thing up real quick with our hand and just maybe some blue towels real quick just to kind of clean it up some but other than that the oil change is done and uh it's ready to be put back in the truck so i'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit like i said and then we're gonna mount it back on the truck put the belt back on and we'll start it up running a little bit make sure everything's good make sure we got no leaks but that's pretty much it guys so very simple oil change on the torque storm unit there you go. That's where it's at, guys, right there, baby. Get you some. And again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate Torque Storm. They've helped me out tremendously, along with other people out there. John Cope, Cope Racing Transmissions, Dr. Differential. Uh, Justin's been tuning the truck, and he's getting the truck dialed in, and that's for sure. So uh, stay tuned. Let's get this thing put back on the truck, guys. All right, as you see, we got the supercharger back in the hole here, and we are starting to snug down all the Allen head screws. Pretty straightforward operation. I think we're like barely 20 minutes into this thing. Doesn't take long at all. Anybody can do this yourself. So if you got a Torque Storm supercharger, you really don't have to take this thing anywhere to get it done uh, if you're trying to do the oil change, but that's up to you. But again, like I said, it's very, very simple to do. Um, once we get all these snug, we're going to go back on them again and torque them down to a, eh, a good proper three to four Ugga Duggas. Um, I prefer the Ugga Duggas over the Ugga Chuggas just because I've had better luck with Ugga Duggas. But that's just my opinion. So three to four Ugga Duggas should get you going. All right, guys, we have the supercharger mounted back up. Everything is back in place. Filters on, uh, intercooler charging pipes on the bottom. Everything is ready to go. Full of oil. So we're going to start this thing up here in just a second. 
and uh, just make sure everything's good. One more thing I'm going to show you guys, and that's because I get asked this all the time. What kind of oil do I use? What oil do I run? This is what I use right here. I use the Lucas Full Synthetic 5W30. No particular reason. This is just what I've been using for the longest time now, uh, especially after I did my cam swap uh, the very first time. I use that right there, seven quarts of that, and I use a Mopar Genuine oil filter. But that's the oil I use, and hopefully that answers some questions. I know I get asked all the time what oil I run. That's it. Like I said, no, no reason. I'm not sponsored by these guys by no, by nothing. But that's the oil that I run. Like I said, no reason. Besides, I usually have good luck with Lucas products. I'm not sponsored by them by any way. Um, I paid for all this oil. They don't actually send me anything. But that's the oil that I run. That's what I use. So there you go. All right, guys. We got supercharger back on. Everything's done. We got the oil changed in the engine as well. So we got fresh supercharger oil, fresh engine oil. She's ready to rip. Um, also, we just switched over my meth injection. We went from uh, running the boost juice, which is a, like a 50-50 mix, to we are running 100% M1 methanol right now. Um, so we're going to be doing some more tuning on 100% meth and see what we can do with that stuff. But that will be another video here coming up soon, so stay tuned. But other than that, I'm going to fire it up for you guys, let you guys hear it.